starting off with makeup. Now, during the summer, I have discovered new things, I've tried new things, I've loved and hated new things, and rediscovered old things and everything. That was a lot of things. The first product that I want to talk about is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This stuff is just absolutely incredible. I feel as though it is very light and that it's very easy to wear during like the summer and spring and it has a pretty nice coverage. Um, it really doesn't have like a matte or dewy finish. It's kind of like in the middle which is nice. Um, but yeah, it has an SPF 17 in it. It's oil free. Um, and yeah, it lasts all day. I really, really, really like it, and I wear C1 Alabaster. Next um, is the Great Lash Lots of Lashes. You probably heard me talk about a couple of these products in this video, but you guys have definitely heard me mention this before. I love this mascara. I don't know if I've actually raved about it. I know that I did show it in a haul. But yeah, I am absolutely in love with this mascara. It is my favorite drugstore mascara. It just is super duper black. It really lengthens and volumizes. And every time I wear this, I get compliments. So I really like this mascara. And if you are a lash girl and you like like bold lashes, definitely try this out if you haven't already. Next is a blush. And this is the Milani Baked Blush in 08 Coralina. I talked about this in my last video, which was my travel makeup bag, and again, it's one of the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blushes, pieces of makeup I've actually ever seen. It is super duper pigmented, it's an absolutely gorgeous color, it's well made, and yeah, um, highly recommend Milani blushes, definitely, definitely worth however much this was. <laughs> I have two bronzers, which the first one is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Silhouette Bronzer, and the second one is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in Sunny. Um, I go back and forth on these all the time. Currently I am in the Too Faced thing. Currently I'm using Too Faced, but um, I definitely have been using my NYC one just as much. These are both incredible bronzers. They are both super duper pigmented and matte and really nice contouring. Um, this one's like $3, this one's $30. Pick your poison. Um, no, but they're both super duper good, super duper pigmented, absolutely amazing. You should go try them both if you haven't already. And my last makeup product will probably not come as a shock because I've mentioned this on multiple occasions, even though I don't think I've actually ranted, ranted, not ranted, but raved. <laughs> there we go. Like, I don't think I've actually raved about this. I just said, oh, it's nice and I like it, but it is the Naked Basics palette. This stuff is just incredible. I use this every day. I use Naked 2 for my eyebrows. That's where there's a big old dent in it. Well, it's not just a dent, a hit pan on it. But yeah, and they just came out with the Naked Basics 2, which I have gotten and love it so, so, so much. But this I really, really, really love and has a special place in my heart. And I use it every single day and it's just fantastic. Um, for like a good month and a half, this was like the only eyeshadows I were using. I was using. It's incredible. I absolutely love it. Next is hair, and if you haven't noticed, if you watched any of my previous videos, then you probably noticed the difference in my hair color. Um, yeah, I now have like unicorn hair or cotton candy. It is pink and purple. I mean, it's still blonde, but has pink and purple highlights in it. And yeah, I absolutely love it. So yeah, can that count as a favorite? Because this is the favorite so far. Um, going to point out an obvious favorite for me, which is definitely my new me luster drum. I got this the beginning of May and I used it every day since. I absolutely love it. It's incredible. Um, 
and I love big beachy kind of messy wavy hair and this does it and it basically creates any style like of curling curling wise that I want and it's incredible and I love it so much Mwah! next is a hair mask or this is a strength reconstruction butter but it is the Garnier for Teeth Damage Eraser. I love this stuff. I use a ton of deep conditioners because after I use my pearl shampoos, I like to follow it with a deep conditioner or a mask just to help bring like hydration back into my hair because those tend to dry your hair out. And this has been the mask that I've been going to and loving all summer. It smells incredible. I've been using also okay, not all summer, but good half the summer but yeah it smells incredible and it just works really well and it makes my hair just feel like butter and I love it so another favorite of mine is definitely my Batiste dry shampoo I go three to five days without washing my hair so dry shampoo is definitely a must-have for me but also during the summer it's hot my hair is constantly up and it just even when I have clean hair, I'll put a little bit of this in it to give it not just some lift, but also to have some kind of grip in it so I can put it up easier. But yeah, absolutely love this stuff, whether my hair is greasy or not, and also it smells incredible. Um, this is the Sassy, Wild, and Daring. So, yeah. Next, I have sea salt sprays. I love sea salt sprays. I have the Mark Anthony Dream Waves Beach Spray, which smells like pina coladas to me. And then I have the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray infused with dead sea salt and sea kelp. Uh, yeah, I kind of just use these like all throughout the year and every day, but especially during the summer because I just love the way they make my hair look. Not so fond of how they make my hair feel, but definitely love the look of them. For skincare, I have been loving and obsessing over the... Um, Freeman's facial mask and this is the uh, chocolate and strawberry deep pore cleansing one I have talked about this before I really like this stuff because it um, like dries on your face super duper fast and is really easy to put on and take off and you can do it on a somewhat daily basis and yeah it's awesome and also it smells really good so yeah and it's just a nice little pick-me-up for your skin. Next thing I've been loving has been the Simple um, Protecting Light Moisturizer. It's oil-free and has an SPF 15 in it. I have super duper oily skin, so oil-free is a friend to me and as well as me being Casper the Friendly Ghost White, um, having SPF is super duper important to me. I like SPF in as many products as I can get it in just because I burn so easily that you know it's just something nice to have and this just makes my skin feel and look really nice and healthy and moisturized and useful and yeah I just really like it. Next I have my toner again another product I've talked about it is the Lush Aroma Water Toner um, this stuff is incredible for oily skin and also for getting rid of redness. I have a ton of redness and redness in my skin and so I use this in the morning and at night before I put on moisturizer or anything. I just absolutely love it. It just makes my skin look and feel so much better and like refreshed and just really nice and I really 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 highly recommend this if you have trouble with like red pigmentation in your skin, this will get rid of it if you use it every day. I promise you that. So I mentioned a couple times <laughs> um, through the skincare part that I have oily skin. And when I say I have oily skin, I mean like grease ball oily. Like I need to wash my face like a lot. It's kind of gross. But because of that, I'm a huge fan of charcoal, which I've just discovered this year. Um, so. Yay, go for charcoal products. Um, I have the Garnier Plus Clean Shine Control Cleansing Gel Removes Excess Oil and Mattifies Skin. Oil free for oily skin and it's the charcoal wash. And then I went to a flea market and I got one of those handmade soaps. 
and I got this one, which is a charcoal one. It doesn't really smell or anything, but basically this is just the ingredients needed for when you like make soap, like the base of it, and then a ton of charcoal. Like they had a little like thing saying what it was called, but it was called activated charcoal. But basically this stuff is like rubbing pure charcoal on your face. It's incredible. I use this in the morning now. Um, I would cut a little sliver of it off and then I would cut it in half and I would keep one in the shower and one by the sink and so I would wash my face with it every morning. I would wet my hands and lather it up and just scrub my face and it keeps me matte throughout a majority of the day. It just really really works and I've noticed my skin just looks clearer and better and amazing and yeah. But definitely 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 if you have oily skin, charcoal is going to be your best friend. It is the way to go. It is the way of life. Charcoal is life. <laughs> Next is body products and fragrances. I decided to kind of like throw these together because I like to use like lotion to make me smell good. Just my thing. But also body products include sunscreen and because I am Casper the Friendly Ghost, I feel as though it is very important to talk about sunscreen. Um, this is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock in 45 and 30. This is my all-time favorite sunblock. I love it to death. I put it on and I don't feel it. I don't have that residue on of it. It dries fast. It goes into your skin fast. It doesn't give you a white cast. I absolutely love it. This stuff is so incredible, but it's like $10 for a bottle. <laughs> And I have like eight bottles. It's not even normal how much sunscreen I use. I use a lot during the summer, but also I use it all throughout the year on any part of my body that like is out in the sun, even during the winter, because I have gotten sunburned during the winter. I mean, I don't ski or snowboard, so yeah, just to take that into consideration. Lauren burns very easily, so sunscreen is like her BFF. Again, I take SPF wherever I can find it. Now, during the summer, this has kind of been my go-to fragrance combination, and it is a um, perfume and a body butter, and it is Bath & Body Works Sea Island Cotton and the Victoria's Secret Pink Wild and Breezy. This is a slightly musky cotton smell which is super duper light and airy and very nice to mix with body butters, um, which I feel like these go and like complement each other very well. This is an illuminizing body butter and it smells like red guava and passion flower. Um, as you can see I use quite a bit of it. I'm almost out. Yeah, this one is like more of a fruity tropical scent. This one's more like mellow and airy, so when you put them together, they smell super duper yummy. And yeah, also I just love luminizing body butters because like I'll be out in the sun and my skin will just like glow and it like looks like natural. It's just like, yes, I have glowy, beautiful skin. Be jealous. But if I ever had a tan, this would look even better because it's like slightly gold like shimmer so it's like even nicer but yeah these have been definite favorites of mine next is nails yay um these are like my go-to nail polishes or the nail polishes nail polishes that I've worn the most throughout summer I have a ton more but you know I decided to limit myself so I have two from Essie in Tarte Deco, which is this guy right here, and Mint Candy Apple, which is this guy right here. I love these guys so, so, so much. Then I have the Revlon Perfume in Pink Pineapple, which is a really nice baby pink color, and then I have this one in China Glaze in Pool Party, which I just got and is very quickly became a favorite of mine. It's a like hot coral color. Yeah, that's right up my alley. Absolutely love it. It's incredible. It's so beautiful. And then I decided to pick out a couple candles to show you guys that I burned that I really, really, really liked and enjoyed. So, 
I picked um, Caribbean Escape and Mango Dragon Fruit. Um, Caribbean Escape is described as dive into this blend of tropical melon and tart raspberry nectar mellowed by creamy coconut milk. It has a very tropical scent to it. Really, really, really like it. And then Mango Dragon Fruit is described as Rare and refreshing dragon fruit is mixed with juicy island mango to create the ultimate tropical fruit blend. So yeah, I burned these and I really like them. And I am just ending the summer because I'm have a couple more summer candles, but so I'm just ending the summer burning American Boardwalk. Ooh, that didn't sound good. <laughs> um, I'm burning the boardwalk. Oh well. Um. No, but I really like that scent. It's a scent I also bought last year, and I feel like it's a nice, like, it's still very summerish, but it's also kind of, like, warm it, like, warmer, because it like, has, like, caramel scents in it, and it's, like, popcorn and everything, and I feel like that's a really nice transition candle, like, into fall. So, yeah, that's what I'm burning right next to me, right there. I really like it. But yeah, those are the candles that I have been enjoying and burning. So the next little category is music. So I'm just going to go through my little phone and um, go down and talk about the music that I've been listening to all summer. So I'm just going to start naming off things. Well, let's see. There is Marinish Trench. I've been listening to like a couple different songs from them a lot. Um, Heather's The Musical. My friends got me into that. I am a theater geek and that has quickly become like the only thing I've listened to like for a solid like almost month. It was great and I still listen to it a lot. Um, if Then has been on repeat which is another um, show with Adina Menzel in it and it's fantastic. Uh, let's see what else. Um, a little bit of Emblem 3, um, Lord Pure Heroine, I listened to that, like, that was the only thing I listened to for, like, a, like, month straight, like, solid, like, nothing else I listened to. Loved, loved, loved that album. It's great. I love it so much. Um, Somebody to You from The Vamps, their little, like, EP thing. That's pretty good. Um, Talking Dreams from Echo Smith. Um, I have been loving this. I love Cool Kids, March into the Sun, Talking Dreams, Ran Off in the Night, Tell Her You Love Her, just a ton of them. I love that album so much. Let's see, um, Ed Sheeran's X album, I guess that's what it's called. I love I'm a Mess, Photograph, uh, Runaway the Man, Thinking Out Loud, Affair Love, Take It Back. All of them. Uh, that, Five Seconds of Summer, their little album thing. Uh, so, yeah. What else? Oh my goodness. Um, One Direction, Midnight Memories. Um, let's see, let's see. I think that's really it. I haven't really, like, yeah. I think that's it. Oh, um, this wildlife I've been listening to a bit. Yeah. So, that has kind of been, like, the music I've been listening to. Nothing too exciting, I guess. I listen to a lot of, a lot of things. Um, and now for the last category, which is memories, which I decided to kind of throw in here to tell you guys kind of, like, what I've been up to during the summer and everything. So, my first memory that is super duper exciting is I got a job. Um, it's my first job. I'm an assistant at a salon, which is really cool because I'm also going to cosmetology. I've been working there like a month and a half and, you know, I learned how a salon runs and everything, which since I want to work in a salon is like really like cool to me. Like, and I get to do all like different stuff and I mean it's work, but like... I get to meet so many people and everything. I really, really, really like it and I've really been enjoying it. So there's that. Um, another thing I did this summer was I did a show called Bye Bye Birdie, which that was at a community theater. 
well, it literally church that has a drama department. I actually did Les Mis there last year, and I just really, really had a fun time. I made a ton of friends, and it was just a, overall a really good experience. Um, and I really didn't like the show, but I've learned to love it from the experiences, because now whenever I listen to that album, um, you know, like, I'll remember, like, the dance moves and, like, little things my friends and I did, like, during certain scenes we were backstage during that song. Yeah, it was just a really good experience, and I met so many incredible people and friends that I'm still in contact with, and I just love to talk to them. Uh, another, another favorite was I went to go see One Direction, um, Five Seconds of Summer, summer <laughs> opened up for them, and whew, it was a bit of an overload, but yeah, they were incredible, um, you know, I went with my good friend Crystal, we had a blast, it was a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed it, and oh my goodness, I had those tickets since, um, Christmas, and I have been, like, I had a countdown on my phone, like I was so ready, I was so prepared, and I was like, oh. it was, it was amazing. They're like really good performers, and yeah, really, really, really fun. I just, I, yeah, it was, it was good. It was good. Okay, let's just leave it at that. It was good. Next is I went down to DC for a while um, with family, and also. My cousin lives down there, so it gave us an excuse to go see her and also to hang out in the city. I love DC. I've been there before. Um, funny part is, one of my favorite parts about DC is definitely the metro. It's so nice. It's so clean. I just, oh, I love it so much. I just, honestly, like, that is, like, one of my favorite parts of DC. And as weird as that is, I like the subway system. Like, the metro is just super duper nice there. I really, really, really like it and everything but yeah also the city is just really nice and like it's clean and it's like pristine looking I don't know I just I really like it and also I gotta go see my cousin which is super nice um my parents and brother came like came down with us and everything came down with us I went down with my mom my dad my brother and my nana my nana and I got our own hotel room and we were like one, like we both brought like candles and we're like, oh, I was thinking the same thing, you know? And I love like being able to spend time with her like one on one because, you know, it's just nice to talk to her like that. So yeah, I really, really, really liked spending time like with my Nana and also going down to the city and seeing my cousin and everything. And it was super duper nice weather too. So that we were very lucky for that. And for my last like memory um my mom bought me tickets surprised me by them by buying me tickets to go see if then on broadway um dean menzel is in it and i was like seven when rent like the movie came out and at the time she was working in a video shop and so if I had to be at work with her, I would just watch Rent, like, on repeat, and, you know, like, looking at it now, I'm like, ooh, like, a six or seven year old should not be watching this, like, you know, but it became, like, one of my favorite movies, and so, like, ever since then, I'm like, oh my goodness, she was always one of my favorite characters, too, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I want to be like her, and it was incredible seeing her in person, we were second row, and like her voice is just absolutely phenomenal it's like mind-numbing like oh. she came out and I cried <laughs> like she has the first line like they play a little music then she comes out and then she says something and I cried from that like it was it was too much for my little heart to take and it was just I love being in the city I love seeing Broadway shows but it was the fact that she was in it. It was the fact that I got to see someone who I admired since childhood on stage in front of me singing and acting and doing what she does. And it was just so incredible and beautiful and 
First off, if you ever saw If Then, like, or know the storyline, it's a very powerful story. It's, it made me think, like, I was sitting there and, you know, I was thinking, like, it follows this woman who Adina Manziel plays, Elizabeth, and it's all about, you know, the choices in life you make and if there is such a thing as fate and stuff like that, and, you know, it kind of shows her in two different lives. Like, in one life, in the choices she choose on, chooses on that path, she's Beth, and on the other she's Liz, and, you know, one's more family-oriented while one is more career-driven, and it's very powerful when you kind of look at that and, like, take a step back and be like, oh my goodness, like, one choice could change everything and you know that's kind of what the story was saying but it was just it was such a well put together and very well written show I have nothing but good things to say about it the cast I thought was incredible everything was cast so beautifully and the ensemble was incredible I loved the set so yeah and also Adina Menzel was in it so you know that makes it perfect anyway so yeah but yeah, those are all my memories, and that is the last category that I have in my summer favorites. Hmm. So, yeah, I've gone through all my summer favorites and everything, so, yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe and comment down below. And, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!